Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what you need to know before you buy your next boat. Stay tuned. So now, first thing you need to do is download the buyer's checklist that we have created. The link is in the description. Next, you go to nadaguides.com to search for the value of the boat you like to see. This will help you make the right decision and offer the right amount for the boat you like. Once you arrive, all you have to do is follow the checklist one by one. There's 24 points that you'll be looking at and this is going to help you make an educated decision whether to buy this boat or not. Okay, so first on the list is walk around the boat and look for excessive cracks, spider cracks, fiberglass damage on the hull and especially on the boat bottom. Okay, next, walk around all the floor decks and look for soft spots because soft spots indicate rotted floor beams and it could be very, very costly to repair. All right, next, let's check all the electrical system. Let's blow horns, turn on navigation lights, anchor lights, dash instrument lights, and so on and so forth. So check every single switch. Also check electronic equipment, GPS, VHS radio, depth sounders, and radars if it has one. All right, so next on the list is check for water stains inside the cabin, around, or close to all windows and hatches. Uh, while you're there, also check microwave if it has one, refrigerators, sinks and shower sump pump you gotta check everything to make sure everything is operative and while you're there also check the cabin light switches sink pump to make sure that everything is working well next on the list let's check the engine compartment let's look for strong gasoline smell and excessive oil spills in the bilge now is a good time to ask the seller how long ago has the manifolds and risers been changed? As well as engine oil, oil filter, and spark plugs, cables, and distributor cap and rotor. The best way is to have a mechanic or shop receipt is the best proof of that date. Next on the list, ask the seller how long ago was the outdrive oil been changed? And also ask if the engine thermostat has been changed. We are now ready to start the engine. So let's connect the hose and muffs, or better yet, if you can do a seat trial, it is highly recommended. After you start the engine, keep an eye on the temperature gauge. It should be at 160 to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's higher than that, it's overheating. Stop the engine. Once the engine is on, make sure that there is warm water exiting the outdrive to check the cooling system pump and impeller is working properly. Run the engine for at least 10 minutes or more. While you're waiting for that, turn the steering wheel from port to starboard several times back and forth to make sure the steering system is working properly. With the engine running, shift in forward gear and then to reverse gear and make sure that the shifter is not hard to shift. Very important to make sure that nobody is close to the props before shifting. Then last but not least, check the trailer axle springs for excessive rust and corrosion. And don't forget to check the tires and also remove the tire bearing cap and make sure it's filled with grease. After seeing a few boats and using our checklist, we decided that this boat would be the best for the price and value.
buyer and seller has agreed to a price and now we go to do the transaction. And finally, check that the name on the title matches the driver's license of the seller. Okay, tell me, how do you feel now? The happiest day of my life. Right? So I say cheers. Cheers. So you know, start there with your new boat. So, yeah, manito. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Ahora, no te voy a poner en un, en un spot como dicen los americanos, pero hay algo que tú sabes de ese barco que es beneficioso para nosotros, ¿sabes? De, 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 de navegación, de la forma que él anda. Hay algo que, que, que has tenido que hacer que es bueno nosotros saber. Está todo perfecto, ¿eh? Nada, perfecto. Excelente. Alright, uh, hope this information helped uh, you uh, do a wise decision on your next boat and whether you're buying a next boat or this is your first time uh, I believe this um, checklist is going to help you uh, do a wise decision in which boat to get and um, if you liked our video please thumb up and if you like our videos please subscribe today your support will help our channel grow and we all love you. <laughs>